Yeah, hello and welcome back to Split Pin Plays. Um, we got up to last time, um, the cutscene, um, where we um, see, I guess it's kind of a flashback of her in Retard Undo, um, when she uses her magical powers to heal heal the injured injured man. Um, I've made it up to, to Nuto Village. Um, managed to get to level 2, just uh, beat a couple more mobs. Managed to get a 200 HP increase just from leveling up. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Uh, gonna just head into the village and, and see what's going on. I've got a save point here. So do that. Right. So that okay, takes quite a long time to save. Alright, let's see what you got to say. My welcome back, Polka. How is the city? You don't look very good. You're probably tired. You better hurry on home and get some rest. Uh, yeah, I might just do that. Uh, little boy. Hey, Polka, welcome back. So, how was it? I think they're all going to say pretty much the same generic stuff. Uh, I've got a mi no, I've got a mini map up at all. What's this? Is this my house? The great thing I like about RPGs is that you can just wander into anyone's house. Oh, what a cute flower vase. Heard there's something inside. And exactly what I was going to say, just steal stuff. And you got to say, oh, Grandpa, I'm making the room messy again. Guessing Grandpa's the blokes outside. Doing nothing. Oh, my hello, pal guy. You've gone and gotten a bit bigger since last... So you still still missing me, Tadando. I've gone pretty far to try and sell things, but it's really tough. All the markets are filled with mineral powders. Not a lot of people are buying floral glass. So I'm guessing mineral powders is it's just like an upgraded version of floral powder. Floral powders on the decrease. Uh, not many people want it. Uh, let's go see what's up there. I'm not going to talk to everyone in the village because uh, it just takes up space on the video. Um, let's just have a look see what we can steal. Oh, oh there's something underneath the bed. Oh, it was a cat. Are you playing home sink? Hmm. Oh. Let's see, I'll finish your cleaning. Maybe I'll go take a look at the flower food. Oh, that's right. I have to water the flowers. Water the flowers in a field? That's a bit weird, if you ask me. <laughs> Another cat? Yeah, mow. Uh, flower field. I won't go there just yet. Now I have a feeling this might be my house. Okay, there's a lot of cats about. This cat sleeps so dead long. I guess he must really enjoy his dreams. I'm not being funny, but if I was buying flowers from someone whose village has cats all over it, surely the flowers will smell like cat piss. I, I won't really want that. Now we're going to a cutscene again. I just Welcome back, Polka. Oh, you must be exhausted. I've made some nice hot stew. Mom, do you... Are you afraid to touch me? You used your magic in Retardando, didn't you? Why does everyone avoid me? Because they think they'll get sick if they touch you, even though it's not true. I'm living proof that it isn't true. After all, I live with you and I'm fine. I'm not afraid of dying from the illness, Mom. It's just, well, I'm just sad that 
no matter what I do, I can't make any friends. Polka. Beat, run! Hold on, Reto! Wait for me! Hey, you! Where are you going with my bread? It's those brats again. Maybe I should poison the dough next time. Oh boy, that was a close one, Reto. Nah, that was easy. Easy? Jeez, if that's what you call easy, I'd hate to see hard. <laughs> Don't worry. Come on, let's deliver the bread. I'm sure everybody's getting hungry. Yeah, okay. But I don't like the rats down there. Come on, what do you expect? I mean, they live in the sewers. There's bound to be a rat or two. And plus, we're carrying fresh baked bread. You don't have to be a rat to want a bite of this. Well, what do we do if we get attacked? Don't let a few rats get you all freaked out. Hey, I took care of them the last time, didn't I? Yeah, I guess. Besides, the people lucky enough to live in houses aren't the ones who need us to take bread to them. Right, so we're back in Ritavando and we met the next couple of our characters Allegretto and Beat. Uh, I call him Reto though for short. Uh, I guess he's my favourite character. Um, he's obnoxious. Uh, and this one's kind of like kind of 50 scaredy kid. And, oh jeez! Um, which is a bit annoying. Um, but he's a really good character actually. Um, he's almost got ranged attacks. Uh, he can take photos as well of his staff, I guess it is. Um, he's my favourite though, um, Allegretto. Because um, he just beasts away, I tell you. It's good, right? Let's head into the sewers. That's one dodgy looking rat. It looks like a ratata. Just on some sort of crack. Right, I'm in the sewers. Retardando sewers. I think this is where the um, light and shadow attacks come into play. Because if. Oh, no, don't want to go there. Okay, just take forever. <laughs> Thought it crashed then. Because if you look on their special attacks, you've got Sun Slash, uh, which is basic close combat attack by a knight, which is what Allegretto is, and Phantom Wave, which is icy breath that engulfs the target and enemies behind it. You can only use that when you're in the light, and you can use this when you're in the shadow, and it changes. Um, so I think this is where this comes into play. Um, so we'll be able to check these out for sure. Let's just save this up, just in case. Alright, let's fight our first rat. Come on, Beat. Let's take care of these guys. Let's take care of these guys. Can you tell me what it is we have to do to fight again? What? Wait a minute. I thought I taught you all that. Did you forget already? Uh, well... Right, I guess we'll view the tutorial. Um, just to show you guys how to fight when you've got two different people. 
Uh, it's all based on it's time based attacks basically. It's like most How to use items. You most press RPGs. And RB to rotate through items you've got equipped until you get to the one that you want to use. That can get annoying. Then you just have to press the item button. That isn't too hard, is it? No, I get it, Riddle. I think you have to actually equip it to certain slots. Special attack club. Next, I'll show you how to use special attacks. There really Please isn't do. much to it. All you have to do is press the special attack button. And you can't use them up or anything, so you can use them as often as you want. Yeah, you don't have MP or anything in this. Anyway, it's show you it's all about the time that you have. Okay. Alright. Oh, force me to use it if I actually move in. That move comes in really handy. close to the enemy and use your special attack. You'll finish him off in no time with an attack like that. You understood all that, right? Yeah, sure. To use your special attack, you just have to press the special attack button, right? I can't work how it says use the special attack button, but it makes it, I don't know, it just okay, makes it a bit weird when they're saying press the button. Super important about special attacks. Make sure you remember this. Now take a good look at what you see around us, Pete. Even though we're inside a sewer, there are some places that are light and some places that are dark, right? You see, the thing with special attacks is, depending on whether the place where you're standing is in the light or in the dark, the special attack you can use will change. What? I don't get it. What do you mean? If you're standing in the sunlight or some other bright place, you'll use a light special attack. But if you're standing someplace that's dark, like in the shade, then you'll use a dark special attack. Okay, that's all I'm gonna tell you for right now. Come on. Let's go, B. Right, let's get this going. I'll show you I'll try and move over to the to the shade. Phantom wave. That's his phantom wave. Oh, nearly. Vivid shot. Let's try that. Let's to aim. Oh, what? It's just taking pictures. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, missed that chance. Right, this is a sun slash. He's guarding though. But that's a really, really powerful attack. Let's move away from him just so I can. What? What the hell is all that about? Seriously, he just takes pictures. Right, let's just uh, waste a bit of time. Just so I can show you a second attack. Whoa. That's good. But I think that puts him an extra move behind. Um, so it sort of falls back a couple in the in the queue, if that makes sense. Uh, Alright. Let's go fight a couple more of these. Beast from that. Ah, oh, balls. Quick. Alright, oh, let's go through them quick. I've got a peach cookie. Right. I'm going to do a bit of exploring as well on this on this gameplay. Just, I just want to make sure I can get the most out of everything just to show you guys where stuff is. Waste of time. <laughs> I could not get that chance, I tell ya. I think as they level up they actually get um, more time to do more attacks. Um, I guess it's one way of uh, getting stronger. Uh, what we got in this chest then? Angel Trumpet. Let's see what that is, shall we? Um, Angel Trumpet. Recover KO. So that's really strange for, for an RPG to give you a um, KO recovery item so early on. Um, 
I mean, Final Fantasy it takes you ages to get a Phoenix down. Um, and other RPGs where you get the revolver item. Um, I think I'll leave it there for this video. Uh, I don't want to overrun on the videos. I mean, the last one was about 23-24 minutes long. Um, and that was mainly because of the really long cutscene at the beginning.